and today I'm going to explain the concept of memory consolidation. In the brain, there are neurons. Neurons communicate with each other via the synapse, which are located at the ends of neurons by releasing neurotransmitters. It was psychologist Dr. Donald Hebb who proposed that learning and memory are represented in the brain by physiological changes that take place at the synapse. An increase in firing of the synapse results in greater neurotransmitter release, which causes these structural changes. An enhanced firing of neurons after repeated stimulation is called long-term potentiation. Long-term potentiation helps us consolidate our memories by transforming new memories from a fragile state in which they can be disrupted to a more permanent state in which they are resistant to disruption. There are two mechanisms of consolidation that are known. Synaptic consolidation takes place over minutes to hours and involves physiological changes at the synapses. Systems consolidation takes place over months to years and involves a gradual reorganization of neural circuits, which are groups of neurons within the brain. There are currently two models of consolidation. The first model is the standard model of consolidation, and it proposes that incoming information activates a number of areas in the cortex. When we form a new memory, our brain takes in all of our senses, so not only do we remember what we saw and heard, but also our sense of smell, touch, taste, and our state of mind. The hippocampus is what helps us facilitate the neural activity throughout the various cortical areas of the brain. Another major mechanism of consolidation, called reactivation, is the process in which the hippocampus replaces the neural activity associated with the memory. During reactivation, neural activity between the hippocampus and cortex form direct connections between the various cortical areas of the brain. It is believed that as time passes, the connections between the memory and the cortical areas are strengthened and that the connections between the hippocampus and cortex are no longer necessary. This would lead to the hippocampus being active during the initial formation of memories, but becomes less involved as the memories are consolidated into the cortical areas. It is believed that the connection between the hippocampus and cortex vanish when the cortical areas can retrieve remote memories for events that occurred long ago. Some scientists disagree with the first model. They believe that the hippocampus continues to be important for remote memories. This has led to the multiple trace model of consolidation. This model states that the hippocampus is involved in retrieval of episodic memories, even if they occurred long ago. Episodic memories are of specific past events and experiences, such as your wedding day. An experiment done by Gilboa and co-workers had subjects recall recent and remote episodic memories by showing them photos of themselves at various times in their lives starting at five years old. The results showed that the hippocampus was activated during retrieval of both recent and remote episodic memories. This is not saying that the hippocampus doesn't lose its connection between the cortex over time. It does but only for stimuli that have lost their episodic character. When memories lose their episodic character, they become more semantic in nature. Semantic memories are memories we associate with facts, such as knowing who the first president of the United States was. We do not remember exactly where or when we learned who George Washington was, we just know. Another mechanism in memory consolidation is reconsolidation. Since we are constantly learning new things and have to tie new memories with old memories, we have to consolidate them again. This is critical to our memory because when we retrieve a memory, it becomes fragile as it was when it was initially formed. And so it must be reconsolidated to prevent disruption. Now before I go, I want to let you all know how you can possibly boost your memory consolidation. Experiments done by Dongan and co-workers had subjects encode a set of picture location associations. Afterwards, they were split up into three groups. One group did aerobic exercise immediately after encoding. Another group did aerobic exercise four hours after encoding, and a control group did not exercise. Now, 48 hours later, they had all the subjects take a cued recall test in an MRI scanner. They found that performing aerobic exercise four hours after encoding improved the retention of picture location associations compared to the immediate and control group. Performing aerobic exercise after a delay was associated with increased hippocampal pattern similarity for correct responses during delayed retrieval. The results suggest that appropriately timed physical aerobic exercise can improve long-term memory. Thank you for watching this video. Please comment any questions you may have and I will get back to you.